Hi everybody, my name is Kayla Wines. Um, I am the shelter manager here at the Humane Society of Warren County. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about fleas. Um, as some of you already know, they can be very difficult to get rid of. They are pesky little boogers and they are happy to feed off of cats, dogs, ferrets, rabbits, and humans. Um, with the warmer months approaching, uh, I wanted to address some of the facts about fleas. Um, they can be broken down into four parts egg, larva, pupa, and adult fleas. Um, they have a very flexible life um, span um, and they will wait until conditions are absolutely perfect um, before moving from one stage to another. Uh, the warmer it is, the faster that cycle goes. And because of this cycle, it can make it extremely difficult to get rid of them. Um, during a flea infestation, uh, treating your pet just isn't enough. Um, there can be eggs in your carpet, in your floorboards, in your car. Um, when you vacuum during a flea infestation, it's very important that you throw that vacuum bag away right away. Um, there could be tons of eggs in there that are going to hatch and you're going to have the same problem all over again. Um, you want to wash everything as well, including your bedding, um, clothes, shampoo, and carpets. If it's especially bad, you might want to consider calling in an exterminator um, for some help. Um, getting rid of fleas once they have invaded your home um, can be a little daunting, but I'm sure your fur babies will appreciate all of your effort when it's done. Um, the best way to prevent this from happening is to make sure that your pets receive their flea uh, medications each month. Um, uh, indoor pets are not exempt from having fleas. I have two indoor cats of my own and I have gone through this process in the past. Um, not all flea medications are equal. You gotta remember that. Um, you need to be sure that you read all the instructions um, and, and all of your labels before applying any of the medications. Um, some medications are not intended for cats. Some are not intended for kittens or puppies um, under a certain age. If you have questions or you don't feel comfortable doing this yourself, I would advise you to talk to your veterinarian about it. Um, it's better to be safe um, and, and know what's right to use. Um, so covering this topic, I'm sure everybody is nice and itchy now, um, but I am hoping that this has helped uh, shed a light on this topic and, and that you can take away something um, from this video and I hope that it's useful for you. Um, be sure to check out our education page on our website as we're going to be um, posting more educational videos on all kinds of topics uh, in the near future. Um, and you can visit us at www.humanesocietyofwarrencounty.org. Thank you.